Hi, this is Sean Clark from MEX Veritas. I'm going to walk you through our MESG CAL today. It's a very simple application which just tells you what flame path widths you can use with what gaps, what combinations, etc. The first thing you have to do with flame proof is always know which gas group you're going to use. So group 1 for mining, which would be methane, group 2A, 2B or 2C. The 2C gas group is obviously the most onerous, would give the biggest explosion, and there are some limitations with 2C on the types of joint you can use. Uh, let's just pick 2B to do the demo. The next thing you need to know for any flameproof joint is the size of the box, how big uh, a volume there will be of gas. So let's just pick a, something up to a couple of litres. We then select the joint type under consideration. So here you can see we'll just pick a simple flange joint. And then we can then say how big the flame path width will be on the flange. So let's pick 12.5 mil. And it tells us our maximum gap for that type of joint is 0.2 millimeters. And if we go down to a really small flame path width, 6 mil, you can see that's not permitted for this volume. If we lower the volume, we can allow that flame pass and have a smaller gap. So quite a useful tool. Obviously you need to know a lot more about the types of gap, um, particularly with respect to um, rolling element bearings where there may be K and M factors, maximum gaps, minimum gaps, etc. But all of that information is in the standard. This is just a quick ready reckoner tool uh, for design engineers or for people checking certification. I hope you find it useful. Thank you and please check www.exveritas.com for more tools like this.